back home after a three-week stay in North Carolina um, I had to come back here to get started back into work while Joanna stayed home and got recovered so now I am headed back to surprise Joanna a day early she's got she's thinking that I am arriving on Monday I had to doctor up my itinerary to make her think that I was showing up on Monday. So I'm showing up surprised, unannounced. And so uh, we'll see how that goes. So I will uh, be sharing this uh, journey of headed back home just to surprise my wife. So this has been the hardest three weeks. This has like been like the longest that me and my wife has been apart since we've been married. And so I am really looking forward to getting home. I've been feeling so homesick, especially being away from the new little baby that was born in January. So I'm, I've been really looking forward to getting back, getting back home. I miss them so much. <laughs> So we're starting to board our flight to Phoenix. made it back to the Boise Airport. Just headed out to meet my mom at the car, which she's been working with me and setting this little surprise up for Joanna. And so we're gonna see what kind of surprise we can get out of Joanna. Let's do it. Good to be back in Boise. Just in, just in Idaho, just generally. It's nice. Real nice. Ah, I think I see her. Yeah, there she is. I just gotta wait. Yeah. Here she comes. There she is, my ride. Okay, 
so I had a ha about an hour and a half trip from Boise to get back home. And after I got home, I forgot to run my camera. I forgot to catch the most important part of the video. My plan was to show up, sneak in through the back door while nobody was looking and come in and surprise Joanna with a bouquet of red roses. And after I got home, pulled into the driveway, everything was going to plan, except I forgot to turn on my camera. Sorry, folks. So after I snuck in through the back door, nobody noticed me. Joanna's parents were in the kitchen. Mom came into the front door, you know, trying to draw their attention elsewhere. And when I came through the back door, Joanna's father was standing at the kitchen sink. And so I had to dip down and wait till he turned away from where I was sit standing at. And then as soon as he turned away, I snuck in through our back secondary bathroom. Once I got in, I looked around the corner to make sure nobody could see me. And when I peered around the corner, there was Joanna. She was sitting over by our desk, uh, sorting through some papers. And as she's sitting there sorting through papers, I just gave her a little psst. And she didn't hear me the first time. So I did it a second time, third time, fourth time, fifth time. <laughs> by the sixth time, she finally caught on and looked up in great big surprise. <laughs> and of course, as you can tell, what goes from there just Lots of tears and hugs and kisses, that, you know, because it's been three weeks. Oh, my goodness. Three weeks has been a long time to be apart. So it feels good to be back together. Now we're going to go back to North Carolina and be together and never be apart like that again. <laughs> That's the plan.